Like, does that really make you feel good? Does that really make you feel comfortable knowing that you just made, you upset somebody's life because you wanted to be a booty hole that day? I mean, come on. Sweet talk, I'm already on my way. I'm pulling up, don't be late. I'm cutting through all the lanes. Hey, hey. Sweet talk, you need to say less to me. Don't need for no flowers, babe. I'm already on my way, on my way. Why are you blushing? Yeah, sweet Hello! Hello, darlings. Can I do an accent? Let me hear some. Hello! No. Okay, I am so sorry, you know, that I haven't, it's been, it's been a minute, it's been a minute, um, the last time you guys actually saw me was from the cruise, which is about like maybe, I guess now officially two weeks ago, now hear me out, let me explain, okay, let me just, just explain this to you guys. I caught a cold, unfortunately, which I was just raving about before this cruise that, you know, how like, look a minute, I haven't been sick in a minute, okay? Like, you know, it's been a, a, a cool minute, probably last January, January 2022, when I was last sick. I am currently, so after the cruise, I, I, I kind of felt like, you know, a little scratchy throat vibes and all that stuff like that. And I wouldn't say it was really, really bad because, you know, I was taking elderberry. If anybody doesn't know the effects or, like, the good benefits of taking elderberry and stuff, I suggest you guys read up on it because elderberry is, like, just chef's kiss when it comes to, like, you know, um, you know, colds or, like, any type of sickness. I don't know any type of sickness, but, you know, common cold. Hey, right there, right up there with penicillin. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> if it's not true, you hear from me. But yeah, so it wasn't a bad, bad cold, but it still was a cold. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. Your girl was coughing. Your girl was doing the most. Um, after the cruise, we ended up celebrating Gavin again with a party. I didn't. I wasn't there to film every single thing but I, I did go for a little while and it was fun it was a great celebration and I just you know I wasn't feeling well I wasn't feeling my best so I ended up not filming and then you know life you know what I'm saying just trying to get back into the groove of everything trying to get back into the, like the idea like okay no more vacation for right now but you know just I don't know trying to like day to day and then I had to babysit my little man my little pup nephew who you guys have seen my tiny heart that would have been something fun to film but he is a handful and I still was getting over cold so I just recently but I promise sister Excuse the rusty vocals, cause your girl can't take you there. I have been thinking about making like music videos, not music, music videos, but like, you know, doing like a little cover here, all that. Um, I'm just like all over the place today. Today's agenda is pretty, pretty simple. So now we are on our way today, not working out. My dad phone went out. So I'm going to the AT&T store right now to see if I can just get his phone today and then probably more than likely just cancel the order that I did online because they probably will if I don't cancel the order online or if they can't really like redirect it to where I, I picked it up today instead on their system they probably will think that I'm trying to steal a phone and you know I ain't no thief girl his phone His phone is working. Well, it's not. It's working, but it's not working. Cause it just started making a noise. Hit with the cross. Hit with the cross. And some creepy it music is playing. But anyways, I'm sorry, we got it. So yeah, so we're gonna go fix his stuff. But I'm not gonna lie. This give me an excuse to not work out today. Because I want to go and try Shake Shack. 
I'm a burger person. You guys probably don't know this about me, but if, or if you do know this about me, I love a good burger. That's literally my favorite food on this, on God's green earth. I love a good burger. That's why I'm not sure if I could be vegan. You know what I'm saying? Because giving up a good burger, you know, also red beans and sausage and smoked sausage. Not just any type of sausage, yo. Because you know, you can taste the fake one and you can taste the really good kind. And the people who know, know. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, you know, stuff like that. That's why it's kind of hard for me to think like I could be vegan. You know, I could be like a fake vegan, like eat vegan food and still eat like regular meat, which is something that I kind of do already. So, but anyways, <laughs> I really want to try Shake Shack. That would be my first time trying it. And that's crazy, right? But we don't have a Shake Shack around here. I wanted to do this thing with you guys where like I take myself out on a date. I always wanted to do that, start taking myself out on dates and stuff like that. Because I have done it in the past, I just never filmed it. So I'd like to do that for you guys. Like, you know, like so y'all can kind of see what my life is like, right? But I will say this though. It is extremely hard to for me to make time for myself. And the only reason why is just because I have so many other different responsibilities. Hey guys, quick update. So, just got out of at AT&T store. Um, and it looks like I did right by ordering my dad's stuff online because the stuff that they had in the store just was just too much anyways. So, like I figured it was going to be the reason why I couldn't pick it up at the store is because they actually didn't have the phone in stock at the store. So, I did right by ordering it. And so it should come in within the next two days so that's good news but next i'm about to go do some quick grocery and stuff like that it's nothing major so i'm probably not going to take y'all in here for this um because i just kind of want to get in and get out and then i'm gonna try to head on the road see what see if i feel like going to br you know just get some alone time because one thing about it when i was babysitting marley he has um really strong anxiety and so he has separation anxiety. So I remain in the house from Monday through Friday straight. I didn't even go outside. Only one time, and that was to take him outside to use the bathroom. But it's so hot outside, I didn't go out any other time. So I was literally in the house from Monday through Friday straight. No didn't go to the store, didn't do any of that stuff because I did all of that stuff that Sunday before. So, I kind of need this <laughs> to at least go out and do something for myself. So, I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'm going to see what I'm going to actually do today. And, um, I don't know. If something exciting happens or if I end up really do going to Shake Shack, which is I heard is kind of overrated anyways, but if I do go to Shake Shack, I'll film that and film that experience. It'll just probably be a short vlog because I really don't know what else to do because I could go get my nails done, but my nail tech is off today. And I'd rather go when she's available. So, right. uh, I don't know if you guys can see me, but I hate going in grocery stores. I just, don't live in an area where you know you can just order groceries and have them delivered to your house but man I hate grocery stores and I just I'm at Smoothie King I'm I hope I'm not crooked you guys I'm sorry if I am but um I'm at Smoothie King I got the pineapple syrup without the dairy we blend I don't like my smoothies to have like a dairy taste to it I'm just not that girl I like it all fruit and ice and stuff like that. So it may not necessarily be considered a smoothie if you think about it like that. But I had the multivitamin added to it. I had like two of those last week. I don't try to go to Smoothie King because it's not the healthiest. And it's also not like the, I don't even know what to say, the, the, the most or whatever. But, um. Well, it's not the most healthiest, and it's kind of expensive. So, anyways, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just getting it right now because, like, you know, 
it, it helped when I was like really feeling under the weather and I just wanted something cold to drink. And plus, smoothies are filling. You know what I mean? So, but I got my parents some Five Guys. I like Five Guys, but then I don't like Five Guys. This particular Five Guys, they don't really have no seasoning to the food. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I got them Five Guys. I'm still going to try to trek my way down to BR um, and get the Shake Shack stuff. I would have gotten them Shake Shack, but if the burgers are mediocre, I don't want to be paying $50, $60 for something that I know I'm not going to want to, you know, like I'm just, it's like a one time thing, you know what I mean? So, whatever, you know. I'm just looking at this person get these stuff uh, ahead of me. They didn't want to move up. I wasn't going to say nothing, but my energy, if my energy fell off, they didn't want to move up. And they had enough space. Now, they had a big truck, but it's not. It's like a Tahoe. And they didn't want to move up. And they kind of moved up a little bit. Should be eight dollars right now. Here's thirty-five. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. You know, which is a lot of people, they're not kind. It's just the way the world. You know? Mm. It just costs nothing to be kind. Like, life is so hard. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to be that person, but I'm gonna be it. Life is hard. What is the point of, like, treating people like ass because you feel like ass? Like, does that really make you feel good? Does that really make you feel comfortable knowing that you just made, you upset somebody's life because you wanted to be a booty hole that day? I mean, come on, bro. Oh, man. They added the dairy meat. And I told them no dairy meat. Still grateful, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. Okay, guys, so I'm at Shake Shack and <laughs> I made my order. I got like the bacon burger or whatever. I can't remember what I got. A bird bourbon, bacon bur bourbon, I don't know. And I got me some spicy fries with a strawberry lemonade. Nothing too dramatic, but like I wanted to try the dragon fruit one, but I'm in the drive-thru right now. I did not think that I was actually going to, I didn't even know, I, I didn't even know this was a drive-thru. It's my first time actually experiencing this, but whatever. Cause I was gonna go in and order and then possibly sit down, but you know, it is what it is. We ordered the food, we are gonna sit in the car and eat it. I got gas, it's 99 degrees outside. So that's that. It's expensive though. It's like 18 bucks for a burger, fries, and a drink. A small drink at that. I'll be back when the food's here. I hope I don't look ashy. I put lotion on, I promise. I'll be back when the food's here. Still nobody has gotten behind me. People probably tired of this expensive ass though. All right, guys, I picked it up. All right, so this is how the drink look. <laughs> I mean, people who already probably had Shake Shack. That was a strawberry lemonade. Nothing spectacular. It is. It's coming up, you guys. Y'all are coming up. But I'm going to try to hurry up and do this real quick. So, these are the fries. Oh, nothing. Definitely nothing, nothing special about these. These are just crackle fries. Mm. 
If y'all can believe that. Let's try them and see. I shouldn't have gotten spicy. The burger looks promising though. Um. <clears throat> Let me show y'all. <coughs> okay, so we got spicy fries with ranch. I'll probably eat that with the ranch. Because spice fries ain't hitting on shit. It tastes good, but it's not like something like I haven't had before, you know? I've had this before. The burger, like, is similar to the bacon jam burger at Atomic Burger. Literally nothing that special about it. It has, like, onion rings on it, and, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's juicy. Um, Um, it was good, but yeah. <clears throat> but a lot of people say Shake Shack is nothing really, really that special about about them. I am interested in trying their their shakes, though. Like I said earlier. But, mm, I don't know, Mmm. It's 241. And it's really, if I want to go to the movies, I can go to the movies, but I really don't know what to watch, y'all. Mmm. I hate. I actually enjoy looking at mukbangs, even though I don't like to hear people chew. I hate looking at people eat who are really just nasty. Stuff coming all down their face. That'd be too much for me. <clears throat> Big ups to you, because they got there's a market for everything on YouTube. Mm. And yeah, you guys, I really don't know what else to do. I really centered my whole Sunday based on this one event. <laughs> and as y'all know, sorry about that. Let me talk and I want y'all to see a food in my mouth. As y'all know, been in the house all week <sighs> there's really not that many movies that I want to go see <clears throat> and I am interested to see if I do go to movies how many people I like to catch a movie that ain't got that many people in you know that's literally the only other thing that I could really do that I would enjoy you know hopefully you know I will go see Elemental. I think that's a cute movie. But it's a kid movie. But you know, hey. Traffic was crazy getting here though. Excuse me again. Traffic was crazy getting here. <clears throat> but we did get here. We accomplished the goal. <laughs> it was it was a mission of mine to get to this because these are my places. Burgers, I love burgers. And y'all have to excuse me too. 
I always wanted to do a mukbang. Because I really do like mukbangs, right? <clears throat> I know I'm jumping back to mukbang, but I grew up, I used to, I would get in trouble. Me, my sister, my cousins. <laughs> They're my extended siblings. We would get in trouble if we chew and smack with our food. So I think that's also kind of why like, I don't like hearing people chew. And sometimes I get on my own nerve because I, I, when I hear myself chew, I'll be like, oh my gosh. I mean, certain things, like if it has a crunch, it's a little far not working, go for it. But it is what it is. But you get in trouble for that. Mm, you right, the people do. Dip it in ranch. Do like my girl, that teacher. Dip it in ranch, obviously. What did she say, like? With ranch, obviously. Hmm. I like watching her. She eats very neat. Sorry if y'all can hear me smacking or something like that. Like I said before, I'm self-conscious about that because we used to like literally get hit if you can hear us chewing. Part of etiquette though. Or at least get fussed at. So none of us till this day actually chew with our mouth open. It's good <clears throat> teach kids manners. And I would teach my kids that too. Not be so hard on them. Cause I feel like a lot of times we always was like, it was always hard. Some of the stuff. Not my parents, but just in general, like the things that we had to go through. It was really tough on us. Um, I wouldn't say physically, but just like mentally, you know, having to you know, be self, be conscious about certain things all the time, you know, but that's the story for a different day, that's, it's nothing bad, I mean, I had a good childhood, I will say though, I am sorry that most of this is literally me in the car, I don't even have no type of footage of me, like, outside, out and about, <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys, this really is just a footage of me, like, <coughs> footage of me in the car, but if I decide to go somewhere else, I'll try to get get us out and about. Because this is a lot of car activity, but... <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting full though. And I got like this much left. Mmm, something drop. Something drop on my food. drop on my shirt. Mmm, mmm. I'm not the cleanest eater. I'm not even gonna lie, like as far as like, I'm goofy, I'll drop something. But yeah, that's it y'all. Shake Shack, as, Shake Shack as of now, mm, six out of 10, seven out of 10, seven out of 10. Mm -hmm. My camera's getting hot. So I'm gonna holla at y'all later.